Tonight, we're learning new details about the deadly end to an hours-long police standoff. Good evening. Thank you for being with us. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. This happened this afternoon near Page and Hodemon in the West End neighborhood. Our Robert Townsend is live tonight from St. Louis Police Headquarters. Robert. Mike, St. Louis Police tell me one of their SWAT team officers shot the knife-wielding man in self-defense. Now a community activist insists the shooting could have been avoided. A fugitive apprehension team was here to arrest. St. Louis police say around 8.30 Wednesday morning, their officers first went to this apartment in the West End neighborhood to arrest a 61-year-old man. They tell us he was wanted for felony warrants, including resisting arrest, assault, and a weapons charge. He refused to come out and barricade himself in the apartment. Police say after several attempts to get the man outside failed, the initial officers backed off and SWAT team officers were called in. Friends say the man lived at the apartment for several years and moved here from Sudan. Some officers went through the window, some went in. This guy doesn't speak English, nor can he understand. The SWAT team tried to negotiate with them in two languages, English and in Sudanese, because we have an officer that speaks Arabic. Uh, that failed. Police say they tossed tear gas and bean bags inside the apartment, but the man did not surrender. They even rolled in surveillance robots. He defeated the robots. He uh, put them in a different room so he couldn't so he couldn't be surveilled. Several hours later, the SWAT team stormed the first floor apartment. Police say the man suddenly lunged at a seven year SWAT team officer with a knife and a pole. The officer shot the man in his chest killing the father of four. It could have been avoided. So says a community activist with the group Organization of Black Struggle. I mean, looking out the window, seeing hundreds of police and SWAT teams with big guns, he was just concerned that they were going to kill him. So that was, you know, that's why he didn't come out. So the last resort would have been deadly force after he charged the officers. Now, police tell us the SWAT team officer wore a body camera at the time. Investigators will review that video. They also tell us none of the officers were hurt. Live downtown, Robert Townsend, five on your side.